If there's any theme at all to my YouTube channel, it's that of a middle-aged man trying to get hold of some of the things he felt like he missed out on when he was a little bit younger and didn't have the abilities to buy them. It's not just about money, it's about the fact that now we've got eBay and I can get things from all over the world that I wouldn't have been able to dream of getting when I was a teenager. Now, this is something that goes back even before then that I managed to get hold of finally this year. And you might have seen it in some of the videos. It's a one-arm bandit, also known as a slot machine or a fruit machine in the UK. Now, I've been looking for my one-arm bandit longer than Dr. Richard Kimball was looking for his. I think I was about six or seven years old, perhaps when I first saw a slot machine in an arcade. And uh, for some reason, ever since then, I wanted one for myself. Now, of course, there have always been ones for children where you can get little sort of plasticky things, but I was always disappointed by the fact that when you won on them, it just dumped all the money out. There was something to do with the fact that a proper fruit machine in an arcade would pay out a specific amount depending on uh, whether you got one cherry, three bells, three bells, that kind of thing. I think the mechanism appealed to me in the, more than anything else. It's not about the gambling. It was never a feeling of a compulsion to gamble on these things. I just liked the mechanism, how there was so much going on. And then at the end of it, it sort of counted out a certain amount of money. Now, going back a little bit, I was going on from the children's kind of plasticky things. Um, of course, I must have gone on to my father about these things. And he managed to get me a particular machine that I'll show you now. I've still got it here. A little bit worse for wear, but um, let me just get it out and have a demonstration. And this is what he managed to pick up for me. This is known as an all-win. There were loads of different designs of these, all with the same idea. You put a, an old penny in the top here. Silver ball comes out of here. You use the handle, flip it around, and the idea is you try and land it in one of these numbers at the top, which that's a two. I've put one in. So if I turn the handle here, I get two coins out of the bottom there. And that's pretty much it. It's a simple gambling device. Uh, over the years, this one, unfortunately, the backing's warped a little bit, so it's no longer uh, that easy to play. I did store it in the loft for a while, and it kind of seemed to damage it, unfortunately. You'd think, looking at this, this is an uh, ancient Victorian device, but in reality, this is a 1960s machine that's actually newer than the one arm bandit I'll better show you in a little bit. Now, whilst the All Win is a great fun machine, it didn't quite fill my need for a one arm bandit. I still felt like I had to have a, a one arm bandit or a slot machine. Um, so I ended up getting, when I was perhaps 12 or 13, a big old arcade uh, slot machine. You know, the ones with three hole buttons and nudges and things like that. But we're talking early 80s here, so a particularly ugly piece of equipment. And we got it from a place, my father took me around, and um, I think uh, what you would affectionately refer to now as a crack house, because they had a few of these machines, some real layabouts, and these things all had the sort of money boxes uh, broken open. This one didn't for some reason, which is why I ended up picking this particular model. Um, the electronics in it must have been failing, because it only lasted a year or so, uh, and I'm quite sure my mum was very happy about that because it was a horrendously ugly thing that took up a whole corner of one of the rooms in the house. Uh, so I'm pretty sure she was glad when that went to the tip. And in reality, I've been looking for something a little bit more attractive than that as well. I, I like the old 1960s, very chromed up machines that uh, look like a beautiful object as well as a, a one arm bandit. There's a whole thing going on here. I'm not quite sure what, where I kind of like the one arm bandit, but I'd like it to look like a nice piece of furniture as well. At some point, a few years ago, I managed to get hold of a Pashislo machine. Those are Japanese uh, fruit machines. Those are really weird things. Uh, th there was a guy, I think it was up in Newcastle or something, brought over a crate of these. And of course, this was at the time when I was buying stuff off eBay. Uh, they didn't cost much at all. It was like £100 or something. Uh, the weird thing with Pashislo is the Japanese gambling laws are very odd. Uh, you, you might remember the video I made about the um, Pashinko machine with the balls in it and how they kind of get around the laws there. Well, with Pashislo, they've got a thing where the, the payouts from the machine are very low. It gives them next to nothing out. But then every now and then you get an opportunity for a repeat gamble type thing where you'll get on this run of repeats. It'll do like 50 repeats in a row of your last win, which enables you to get a big payout. But that happens so infrequently it's such a boring machine to play it's just uh, lose 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 and they'll put nice graphics on and different things uh, popping about on the screen they do look quite entertaining so i had a couple of those uh ended up just getting rid of one of them i've still got one it's in a cupboard over in the corner but i can't get to it now because 
there's just so much junk in front of it. But still, I wanted to get the Chrome 1960s full one arm bandit type thing. I managed to find this guy who was selling um, one arm bandits, refurbishing them, uh, pretty expensive as well. Massive waiting list, took about six months to get his re chroming chap to re chrome it. Uh, but an absolutely beautiful machine. I'm not going to link to this guy because the thing is, it runs on 20p's. 20p's are the most um, similar thing to what it ran on back in the day, which was sixpences. So in size, they're, they're similar. And of course, 20p's are one of the UK coins that have been in circulation the longest in the current format as well. So it means you can just put any 20p in this and it will work. Uh, but by the fact that it runs on actual current UK coins it's probably legal in some way so um anyway i'll show you the machine now and i just want to show you a couple of things about it okay so as we look at it you can see it's an absolutely gorgeous machine hard to believe that there were rows of these things at one point in arcades and just uh, available for people to bash away way out because when i look at it it's a work of art really inside is just as amazing to me i'm really fascinated by the way that these things are able to figure out when you've won and count out a particular amount of money for that win um of course one arm bandits have been around for I don't know, 100 years or so so the, the technology by the time this was made in uh, about 1960 i think it was something like that uh was well established so they knew what they were doing but still fascinating to me how these things were sort of clockwork mechanisms inside them so I'll show you this one in slow motion because it just shows you how the odds are stacked against you. As you see these different reels spin around, you'll see the symbols on them. The reels go around and uh, how you only get one symbol on a certain reel, but then you get a lot of that symbol on the next reel, which is, of course, how they work. In the front of the machine, you'll see you've got these 20 Ps behind this little glass window. That's the jackpot there. The chance of winning that's probably one in a billion or something. But the way that that fills up is on, on a proper machine like this, as you put your 20 Ps in, once it fills up the hopper, which is the thing that pays you out, uh, it overflows into the jackpot. And in fact, there's uh, I think there's two jackpots on this so that when the first one empties out, it immediately fills up again. Because of course, the problem is in an arcade, if somebody has won the jackpot, the chances are that someone is not going to use that machine again. The idea is the jackpot's always full. The chance of it paying out is astronomical. But it's enticing looking at it there that all these 20 p's could fall out okay i think it's time to cut this one short because i could blather on about fruit machines slot machines or one arm bandits all day long but i know you don't want to listen to somebody doing that all day long so uh we'll cut it short here all i'm going to say is i might get another one of these out before christmas and don't know if i will be able to if not uh merry christmas um but that's it for the moment as always thanks for watching